Shock and Awe presents three three-minute rounds of amateur MMA in the middleweight division. And the first fighter to enter the cage into the red corner. Tonight is his debut. He weighed in at 181 pounds, fighting out of West Yorkshire and Vectus MMA. Let's hear it for Odin, the Cannon Tunningley. So for his debut, he weighed in at 180 pounds, fighting out of Guildford, representing Mavericks MMA. Let's hear it for Oliver. Second fight here, just about to get underway at Shock and Awe 28. Oliver Brunton in the blue corner taking on Odin Tunningley of the red corner. Should be an interesting fight, both these guys actually making their debuts here. And uh, Tunningley doing it at age 37, so he's leaving it late in his career, but it's going to be interesting to see what he brings to the table tonight. Yeah, Odin Tunningley, uh, nickname is the Cannon, but I know a Viking when I see one. Menacing look, if I've ever seen one in a fighter. <laughs> both guys here just squaring each up each other up. Tunningly lands big shots early. Yeah, he's wasting no time, getting right stuck in. Brunton looked immediately for that takedown, but fights back on its feet at the moment. Brunton trying to take him back to the ground, but Tunningly using that, well, he was using that cage as a defense well. Yeah, Tunningly keeping hold of the uh, headlock position. 
It's going to be quite difficult to get a guillotine from that position. He's, he's in half guard at the moment. Brunson did well there to try and get the arms over there. Yeah, and, and you know, uh, rightly so. Tunnelly going for a close guard, take away the striking with Brunton. Don't give him any space so he can, you know, rain down his shots. Looks like we could have a clear clash of styles here. Tunning Lee obviously looking to keep the fight on its feet, get his striking going. Meanwhile, Brunton obviously finding success at the moment, the fight on the floor. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. At the moment, just a lot of control from Brunton on the floor, not a lot else happening. Both guys trying to land some strikes. Yeah, Tunningly went went for an armbar, didn't quite get it. Found the neck there though, that's an impressive turn of events. Right now he's going to try and sink in another chokehold. This is a really good position for Brunson at the moment, he can just rain down shots. Neck is exposed if he wants to try something from there. Yeah, Tunningly's got to get out of this position. I mean Brunton at the moment is looking to set up an arm triangle. If he can get his leg to the other side and put his hips down, I mean, it's, it's, he's in a tough position there. I mean, it's, it, it can be very tight, but he's really got to put his hips down. Tunningly defending by holding his own wrist. If he can make a fist and, and push his elbow in. Oh, it looks like he's oh, out. Oh, impressive finish. Oh, wow. Oliver Br Brunson doing the business early here at Shockinor 28. What a finish. You said it was going to be difficult, Colin. Wow. Wow. Uh, he I made it look relatively easy to me. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, it, it just seemed to tighten up the arm triangle. Um, just seemed to get it tighter and tighter and tighter. And he was using uh, like a figure four grip for it, um, which sometimes that can blow your arms out. Um, but he did the business there. You know, he just got tighter and tighter. And it almost looked like um, Tunningly went out for a second there. I mean, he seemed to come back very quickly. I don't know if he did go out or not, but it seemed to be... Uh, he seemed to sort of, you know, go limp for a moment there. So I wonder if he actually went out. Well, good okay, chance, ladies guys. and gentlemen, after two minutes and 12 seconds of round number one, your referee, Mr. Andrew Nichols, calls a stop to this contest due to a technical submission of head and arm choke, declaring your winner from the blue corner, Oliver Bruton. Uh,